we have an interesting system here where the output is simply the time. So it's like a clock, where whatever the input is, the output is the time. And the question is, is this a time invariant system? And again, just by looking at that t there, clearly it isn't time invariant. Clearly the time makes a big difference because the output is equal to the time. And we said whenever you see t or n for a discrete time system explicitly given in the uh, expression for the system, we know it's a time varying system. But we can demonstrate this mathematically. If x of t is delayed by a seconds, the output of that block would simply be x of t minus a. And if that then goes into my system, then the output is what we're told here. But we need to replace t with t minus a. That's what happens whenever we delay the signal before entering it into the system. We replace t with t minus a. So the output will be t minus a, because a seconds have already passed. But if you then try applying x of t to the system and then delaying it, it won't be the same, because the output to the system here will simply be t. That's what we're told in the question. And if you take that value t and you delay it by a, it'll still be t. Okay, so d having a delay for t, which is simply a value, it's not, it's not the input, it's just a value. So delaying it, you'll still get t. So what we then do, the test of time invariance, is we compare these two. And if they're not the same, it's not time invariant. So here they're not the same. So we conclude that the system is not time invariant. In other words, it's a time varying system. Um, that's what we expected.